What is up, everyone? MMA Island team here. We got Zach, we got Chris, and we got the fight picks. And we have a women's bantamweight scrap. Kellen Vieira getting a short notice fill in in none other than Sarge Sajara Eubanks. So we got Chris, and he is going to tell us what he thinks about this fight. So I feel like this fight is actually a lot closer than what people think. I feel like, uh, you know, obviously Sajara Eubanks isn't the best fighter out there. You know, she's, uh, you know, barely crept in the top 15. However, like the wins that she has are, you know, like she has some uh, wins over notable names like Roxanne Monteferi. Um, I think she has a win over uh, Caitlin Chukagian, I believe, uh, and, you know, Julia Vila. So, like, you know, she's beat some, you know, beat some notable names. And her wrestling pedigree is pretty good. You know, she can keep you down. Uh, but I feel like Caitlin uh, Vieira's uh, BJJ is unmatched, you know, like a. Uh, Right now, like in the Bantamweight division, uh, there's not that much BJJ players uh, besides the champ, uh, Amanda Nunez and uh, Juliana Pen Pena. So, like, um, obviously, looking at that, uh, the wrestler's definitely going to have – the wrestler in Eubanks is definitely going to have some problems on the ground with Vieira. And uh, with Vieira, it's just – you know, she's she's done well against wrestlers, I would have to say. Uh, you know, Sarah McMahon was, a, I believe, an Olympic wrestler. And Sarah McMahon, the best to... wrestler in women's MMA. I'll say that, and I'll say it again. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, to beat a veteran like Sarah McMahon shows you how good Vieira is, and especially with that stylistic matchup, I feel like it, it mirrors what this matchup is. And, you know, Eubanks ha – I don't think Eubanks has gone against uh, – a great as a BJJ player as Vieira is. So, like, a, with this fight, I feel like I feel like standing up, it could probably go either way. Obviously, we saw uh, Vieira get knocked out by uh, Irene Aldana. But, you know, that's something to be ashamed about, obviously. But Sajara, she doesn't look great on the feet. You know, she got outpointed by Aspen Ladd, uh, which obviously nothing can be shamed about. Both those the women that uh, they got beat by are you know top level uh, competition. However, I feel like on stand, standing up wise, maybe give the edge Vieira, but uh, you know like I want to count out Eubanks totally. But looking at the stylistic matchup, I would have to favor the grappler over the wrestler in this fight. You got Phenomeno, Caitlin, uh, Caitlin Vieira taking on Sajara Eubanks. And what do I think is going to happen? Well, even though Sajara Eubanks got the win over Julia Avila and it just sucked to see because I'm a Raging Panda fan and the division kind of needed her to win that fight because it needs a prospect, but Sajara Eubanks doesn't care about the integrity of the division. No, I'm kidding. But that fight, even in a win, was kind of telling. Because she is getting in these brawl exchanges on the feet, and she is leaving her chin open. On the feet, her striking technique was shockingly bad against Avila. And this is a fight that she won on the ground because Avila didn't have much in the way of getting back to her feet, which is something Vera will be able to do. And uh, on the ground, you mentioned the Brazilian jiu-jitsu is definitely a factor to look out for. And the fact that she was able to take down and submit Sarah McMahon, uh, that obviously being... Uh, Oh, Vieira did that. That is something to look out for because I will sing Sarah McMahon's praises in wrestling all day long. I, I've said before that she's the best wrestler in women's MMA. I'll say it again. I'll say it in the future because there is no one who can match her wrestling pedigree. It's just true. It's yeah, true. Sure. You, yeah, there's not really debating that. And uh, Eubanks... Maybe Tatiana Suarez. Uh, but, uh, that's, yeah, that's beyond the... Maybe. She has to fight again. We have to see if she ever does, mm -hmm. which with Tatiana Suarez, you never know. But Eubanks really only has one loss in her UFC tenure. I mean, yeah, you look at the Kohea fight, but I don't think you can, you can make a convincing argument that uh, Sajara Eubanks lost that fight. And the other loss is to Aspen Ladd. Again, nothing to be ashamed of, as Chris mentioned. Yeah, nothing to be ashamed of. But I think that Caitlin Vieira is just too good on the feet. I think that uh, ever since moving up to Bantamweight, I do think Eubanks is a little bit undersized for this division. I think she's, she, her, her height is very, very small. Vieira is going to have a significant height advantage while only having one inch of reach. It's still going to be big. It's still going to play a big difference. 
well, Eubanks' jiu-jitsu is very, very good as well. I mean, she's a black belt and IBJJF uh, tournament winner, <clears throat> but we haven't seen her really use that all that much. I'm going to have to go with Kaitlyn Vieira because I see, I see uh, Eubanks' weakness on the feet as a little bit too exploitable for a striker the caliber of Vieira. And I honestly see Vieira going for a takedown because I think she, she values her own grappling above Sajara Eubanks's, and I think I would too. And also something to look at, Kaitlyn Vieira with a 92% takedown defense. And if you fought Sarah McMahon and you have a 92% uh, takedown defense... <laughs> You're going to keep this fight on the feet for the most part, and Kaitlyn Vieira will win the striking exchanges. So I'm going to give this fight to Kaitlyn Vieira. I think she's going to win by a decision because it seems that the only two outcomes in women's fights are decisions and arm bars. But uh, I, I, don't see the arm bar, I don't see the arm bar this time. I see the decision. Kaitlyn Vieira is going to get the win. But if you have Sajara Eubanks, it's not that bad of a pick. Let us know in the comments below. You, you can get this one right. You'll look like a genius and uh, – Stun on us with how right you are and how much better you are at this than us. But uh, yeah, yet again, tell us what you think in the comments. Watch the rest of the fight picks because we have three fights left to talk about and they are three excellent fights to talk about. So don't you go anywhere. Click the next fight. We'll see you there.